Hey Chris Crew, welcome back to you and if you're new, you're welcome too. Hey Chris Crew, welcome back to you and if you're new, then you're welcome too. Hey, hey. <laughs> he says I have come to direct you. He says I have come to forgive you. He says I have come to define you. He says, I have come to make wrongs right. To make them right. He's come to bring you from the darkness into the light. He's come to give new life, new desires, new life, new direction, new life. Give you purpose, new life, restoration. Chris Crew, thank you so much for clicking on this video. This is an exciting one. I am so happy to bring this to you because majority of the Chris Crew members are interested in moving to Tulsa to attend Transformation Church. So this is a long awaited video. A lot of you have asked me in my DMs and my comments about Transformation Church. So I just wanted to present this video to you about my opinion um, since I have now been a member for two and a half years. I can't believe how fast that has gone, but yes, two and a half years. So if you're interested in hearing more about TC and Pastor Todd, AKA P Mike, uh, then stick around. All right, so if you are a Chris Crew member, then you know my history and what brought me to Tulsa. But just a quick, quick summary of how I got here. I'll also link the video down below. Sorry, the enemy is trying to play me, okay? He don't want me to tell you how good TC is, all right? My battery died, but I'm back. Okay, so yes, that video of how I first got here to Tulsa would be linked down below. During the Relationship Goals series that was just going viral, uh, my sister sent me some of the videos. I ignored it for a while, and then I saw some of it pop back up on my social media, and I was just like, who is this guy, right? And in the midst of that, I was already asking God to show me what he wanted me to do next. I had just grabbed graduated was working in the field for about a year and I was just ready to leave Orlando Florida and do something different and all of this was just confirmation that Tulsa was where I needed to be God made a way it was easy I got a job I had my family members to invest in my move it was perfect um, so I'm here two and a half years later still enjoying Transformation Church and the messages that God is sending through Pastor Michael Todd. So now that you have a little bit of the backstory, I'm going to explain to you some of the key things um, and themes that I have written down to help us out and let this video flow nicely, okay? I wanted to talk to you guys about joining the church. Um, when I first got here, I was like, this is where I need to be. So I joined the first Sunday um, and it's called Activate. Granted, we are in a pandemic, but naturally what would happen is after the service is over you will be invited to join and then you attend activate um, and it's really maybe like a 45 minute I, I would call it a course or a class um, where you get to learn about uh, transformation church the history um, the transition between pastors how they joined with another church um, and now we're in transformation and all the good things that they're doing um, for its members and its community and at the end of that you get a little certificate that makes you an official member so it's really exciting um, and I have my certificate around here somewhere but I don't know where it is <laughs> the next thing that I did was I got involved now someone once asked me how do you make a big church small and I was like how do you make a big church small I, I don't know um, and she said, you get involved, right? The more you get involved, the more you see familiar faces, the more community you build, and the more it feels intimate. Because it is a pretty large church. I mean, over 4,000 members are there. Um, so get involved. They have many different um, areas that you can get involved. I am a part of the welcome team, and I love it. I mean, I love saying, hey, welcome to TC. How you doing? I love doing that um, when they're walking in. I was also getting involved in the youth ministry before the pandemic, so that's on pause. But they have many other arenas that you can uh, join. Um, 
I just want to list them off for you because I wrote them down. You can be a part of the worship team if you can sing, praise God. Um, if you're a creative, if you want to do photography, videography, graphic designs, social media, they have that for you. Um, again, if you want to be a part of the welcome team, you can do that. If you want to serve in the parking lot, directing the traffic, you can do that. Um, if you want to be a part of the engagement team um, that's checking in on members, that's doing that um, activate course or class you can do that um, there's a prayer team that you can join there's children's church and there's youth ministry um, I'm sure there's many more that I've forgotten but there is a place for you here I want you to know that also if you're interested in the internship um, where you come and you just grow to the 10th power they have that uh, and, and the last thing that I'll mention is the B groups AKA belong groups. And these are many groups that meet all over town and actually in different states um, and, and virtually uh, when the pandemic wasn't here. And it's just about an ordinary person like you or me that wants to create a small group or a large group <laughs> to, to just honor God. With your B groups, if you're an ordinary person, you can start a B group about anything. I mean, there's B groups about fitness, about playing basketball and praising God, um, about, I saw one about knitting. There's relationship uh, B groups, there's engagement uh, B groups, there's single, there's married, there's single mom, single dads. I mean, just, <laughs> just every B group you can think of. So if you're interested in joining a B group right now because they are happening, you can click the link below and you can get plugged in from wherever you are because there is something for you. Next, I wanna talk about the population, the demographics, the nature of TC. Um, so when you enter the atmosphere, it's just, you can feel the Holy Spirit in that room. Um, I know you guys know that we moved to an arena, so it's a much larger place and a lot of people. Um, and so when we were at the old building, we had to have six services. So now that we're at the arena, um, it's one service and everyone fits and it's, it's beautiful. Um, the production is on a new level. The atmosphere is on a new level. Um, as far as the demographics, I mean, it's it's mixed, right? I mean, you have black, you have white, you have biracial, you have everybody in between. Um, <laughs> you have young, you have old. It's 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 a place for you, and um, never really gonna feel like you don't belong, um, especially once you get involved, because uh, you're gonna have it. I mean, the the community is there. The love is there, the care is there, and you always going to have someone to lean on and call on um, whoever you decide is in your inner circle. Now let's talk about the sermon and Pastor Todd, okay? Pastor Todd is the realest ever. I mean, what makes him so great to me is because he is so relatable. And he breaks things down to the lowest denominator. I mean, if you don't get it after hearing what he has to say, then you, something's just wrong. Because he brings it down to where anyone can understand. Um, the visuals, the examples, the props, all of that helps or helped me in digesting the word. Um, there are so many scriptures and so many lessons that I've heard throughout my lifetime. And I get it, but when he presents it, it's in a whole new way. I get a whole different revelation. And that was the thing that I appreciated about being a part of TC and joining because the mission to represent God, right, to the lost and found for transformation in Christ. He's representing. Um, I know it's so common for us to really get stuck in our way of thinking and our relationship, but no, we're taking it to the next level um, with this new revelation, and I really love that. His energy is on a thousand. I mean, he's sweating by the end of the sermon, but he loves this, and you can see he's passionate about it, and he's so humble. Um, I've met him like, a couple times and uh he's just he's he's a man of his word i remember it was one event it was a volunteers event and um everybody was lined up and so when i when i told him hey i just got here from from florida and xyz and he was like okay i'm gonna find you after this um and we're gonna take a picture together and so i was like okay cool cool 
And I didn't think that he would because, I mean, he had a long line. But he's a man of his word and he's so humble and so intentional um, that after all of that, I mean, it was maybe like 30, 45 minutes. Everybody having fun. We were at a, a pizza joint with an arcade and da-da-da. And I just happened to come back in. Um, I just happened to come back in and he was like, you ready? You ready to go take that picture? So it's like he is just amazing all around. Another thing that I like about the church is that they give back i mean i've never in my life seen a church that gives back the way this one does i mean it's it's amazing i reached a hard time in in my life when i was up here transitioning from one job to the next where i didn't even have money for rent and i went to the church and i filled out an application and and they helped me um but just in general when we pour into TC as members and we give our tithes, it's not just going right to make the pastor rich. No, it's going to the community. He's helping other churches build their foundation and get to a level where they can produce for their members. Um, just earlier, no, I think it was last month, at the end of last month, pastor gave almost two million dollars i believe one or two million dollars to a whole bunch of churches organizations individuals i mean he bought uh this family of four or five a house right he gave away all these cars it was just amazing to see because those blessings came right on time and i i love that right i love that it's not just someone that just wants your money but it's actually being poured back into you uh so that was another thing that i was like yeah this is this is definitely the place for me overall i really 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 enjoy being at transformation church if you're watching this and you are a part of transformation church or tc nation uh, comment down below and let me know what your thoughts are how much has Transformation Church impacted your life or changed your life. Um, if you are interested in Transformation Church, I'll leave the link below. Um, there's a sermon every Sunday. They have the dig on Wednesday, which is just diving deeper into the word from Sunday. They have noonday prayer. Uh, we just ended a fast. I mean, there's always so many things that you can do even in a pandemic. So again, I am so happy to bring this to you. If you all have any questions, let me know. Please, please, please comment or inbox me on Instagram, okay? And I will see you all in the next video. Alrighty? Have a good one. Bye. New direction. New life. Give you purpose. New life. Restoration.